Before you get started, you want to cover your workspace with newspaper or a protective rag. To prepare your dress shoe for polishing, first remove the shoelaces. Next, slip in a shoe tree or wadded up paper to give the shoe form during the polish. Step number one, clean the shoe. Remove any dirt, any salt, any grime. It's very important as sand left in the shoe can ruin your final polished look. Next, lightly apply saddle soap to a clean rag and rub gently over the soap to create a little bit of a lather. Apply the soap to the surface of the shoe to clean it and to remove any old polish. Let your shoe air dry for about 10 minutes or wipe dry to speed up the process. Step number two, condition your leather dress shoe. I recommend you condition your shoes weekly if you wear them at least three times a week. Monthly, if you're wearing them only occasionally, use a clean rag to work the conditioner evenly over the entire shoe. Let the conditioner soak in and dry for 20 minutes. Wipe off any excess. Step three, apply a cream polish to the entire shoe. Take the applicator brush and evenly coat the surface of the entire shoe. Remember, a little goes a long way and you can always apply a second coat. After you've finished applying the polish cream, give it a quick buffing with the horsehair brush. Repeat as necessary and at the end of the procedure, give it about 15 minutes to dry. Next, apply wax polish over the entire shoe. Wrap a soft rag tightly around two fingers and apply a small amount of the polish to the cloth. Coat the surface of the shoe, working in small circular motions. Buff it with the soft horsehair brush and repeat this step once or twice to get a slightly higher shine. To get that coveted mirrored finish, first apply a very small amount of polish on your rag, dip your fingers in the water and put a drop of water on the toe of the shoe. Rub the polish in using quick strokes until the surface is clear. Repeat this step many times. In fact, you could easily spend 20 minutes on a single shoe here. What we're doing is we're building up the layers of wax and using pressure to create a mirrored shine. Now stay focused on the shoe toe. You don't want to spit shine your entire shoe. The reason being is any place where the leather flexes, it's going to crack the polish. So it's best to spit shine the toe cap and maybe the back of the shoe. If you're willing to put in the effort, you can make your old shoes look better than when you actually bought them. For a great in-depth look at the shoe shining process, check out the accompanying article here at realmenrealstyle.com. If you want more information on how to purchase the perfect pair of dress shoes for you, go grab our free 85-page ebook. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and let me know in the comments what you thought of this video.